to not get hit by them if they're looking at you when you move into their sight. There's only three games I know of that actually work like this. Legend of Grimrock 2, which is what we're playing. Legend, Legend of Grimrock 1, which makes sense. And also Stonekeep, which I believe was the heavy inspiration for this game. But Stonekeep is very old. Uh, I have considered playing it just because it is a, it's a weird fucking... It's a weird game. Uh-oh, Old Moss Starving. That's not good. Okay. That's our call to uh, get the fuck out of here. Go hunt some turtles. Nope, not this way. If she's starving, she's basically useless. Fortunately, this is a shortcut here. Kind... Uh, no? Well, yes, it is. This is also a shortcut. Didn't mean to do that. It's fine. I haven't seen any more wargs or anything repop, re unfortunately. Wish I could hunt that bird that I hear. I also don't know if fish respawn. Don't seem to. Which is very sad, because, man, fish are great. Fortunately, turtles do respawn on the beach. Which I could have gotten... I mean, that's I could have gone to the hub to get to where I'm going, but that's fine. But before we go, I believe... I thought there was one... Oh, this chest over here needs a lockpick, but that's too far. I don't care. Once we go back to the cemetery, I'll, I'll use it then. Not in any particular rush. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Come here, Turgi. Oh, I fucking missed. It's too good for me. Oh yeah, this game has a lot of outdoors. So the original Legend of Grimrock takes place in a giant mountain, which is a prison. A prison named Grimrock. But this is actually the Isle of Nex. Oh my god, cat. So this actually... Ah, oh, fuck it, just... I'm gonna tank you, I don't care. Uh, there's a desert. There's uh, an, a beach. There's a forest. There's a bog, swamp, we got a river, we got a cemetery, ruins, the pyramid, and like a, a lakey area. I don't know if there's much more than that. I need to zoom in. Oh, these guys all respond. Oh yeah, and sometimes the enemies have weird characteristics, like they will side roll on you. Like that. So it's harder to outwit them, because they're outwitting you. The goal is to survive and get off the island alive. The uh, The whole plot is you were prisoners on a boat. Uh, boat got fucked up on the on the beach by, like, uh, by rocks and stuff. And you were washed up on shore f through sheer luck. And here you are, and get fucked. And there's an island master leaving notes around, taunting you, and explaining what the situation is. Yeah, just make a new boat, it'll be fine. 
What could go wrong? And the turtles sometimes wander all the way up here, so I just want to check. I don't think I've ever seen them wander this far, though. No. Just need a couple good turtle steaks. That's all. There's a turtle. Yeah, there we go. Eat up, old lady. Wish I could take these crabs. It actually super bothers me that you can't pick up the crabs. You'd think you'd be able to. They're a food source. I love crab. Crabs are great. Only one turtle? All this way for one turtle. That makes me sad. I don't think I've ever seen any fish in the waters around here. Yeah, nothing else. Damn. So this is actually where we start. It's in this cage. Alas, Lucky's not with us right now. I mean, one piece of turtle is good, but all pa is going to be starving pretty soon. And cat, I can't see. Okay. I think we could just... Is there anything I want to drop off while I'm here? These things... All of these are pretty light. It's only like a pound for 20. Hmm. And I don't really want to drop ingredients in case I need something. Though I don't suppose I need this anymore. Don't really need these arrows. What was in this? Nothing. This box is just heavy. So, uh, just gonna put that down too. Oh, yeah, he's getting low on food. Shit. I guess I can go back to the bog for a second. Sadly. Yeah, I don't know why those giant crabs were inedible. I'm really surprised they didn't drop anything for me. Mm. Yeah, I guess now is the best time to go down there. I hate the bog, personally. Yep, old Pa Stavin. He hasn't hit starvation. Uh, well, he can't regenerate. That's fine. But if you hit starvation, you actually uh, have your damage halved. Oh, wait, there's a... There we go. There could be a giant frog I could eat. I also have to deal with dumb flies. I guess the dumb flies aren't too bad anymore. Hey, there's a frog. Frogs have weird behavior. They hop around. They can also grab your items infinitely. If you get tongued by them, they'll just keep picking your items up. Out of your hands. It's the worst.
Fortunately, they're pretty slow otherwise. Right. Some enemies also jump two squares to hit you if you're far away from them. They do like a lunge strike and they move two squares at once. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Should be good for a little while. Uh, I may as well clear out the area in case there's another frog. <clears throat> Excuse me. And hold on to that for a little while. Whoops. Well, there's a frog. Concerned about those flies seeing us. There they, there they saw us. No, oh, damn it. She took my orb. I need that for things. Oh, that's right. They don't like lightning. They don't destroy your items, but man, is it annoying when they take them. Man, Pa's just so strong. There we are. Got my orb back. Got a tongue. Which... You know what? There. She needed it. Unfortunately, I can't eat these bugs either. Wherever the fuck they went. I don't see them anymore. Yeah, I don't see them. And some rocks. Honestly, rocks aren't bad. They let me do dumb shit. And I believe I've... Yeah, I've been here. Uh, yeah. In a lot of dungeon crawlers, food can be a huge problem. But... Okay, so let's, uh, let's take this game, for example. I, you can see that I'm starving. I'm having a bit of a hard time because I don't have enough food. However, I'm playing one of the hungriest possible uh, groups you could ever have, which is two farmers. And farmers in this game are a class. Other classes get cool perks and abilities. Farmers start with nothing. They are boring as shit. They're awful. You don't even get a skill to start. But what farmers do get is the ability to... Uh, get experience solely from eating. This means all the experience that you see on the screen when I kill something, meaningless, pointless, doesn't do any, do, doesn't do shit for me. But when I eat food, that's how I get XP. Also, when I dig up chests, for some reason. But mainly from the food. So, when I get food, I want to eat it almost immediately because it means I could get another level. Yeah, it's a very strange way of doing things, but... It's really interesting at the same time. Now, the reason I picked two... I was going to do a solo run initially. But then I realized... Uh, I just wouldn't have the action economy to get through it. I'm sure there is a way. But it would be kind of brutal. I feel like it would be brutal. And there's definitely enough food in the game for two people. And there are obviously some respawning sources as well. But without rampant grinding, I, uh, I figured this would be a good attempt. And so far, so good. We're just having a little bit of food issues in places that don't naturally spawn food or enemies that uh, don't drop food when killed. So I have to just be careful about resting. Going the wrong way.
And then, of course, I'm doing the insane Iron Man uh, portion. Which, you know, makes it so I, I can fuck it all up. <laughs> okay, so we're back. There's also a ladder here. So, what's down here? Is it nothing? Could be a smoke sea bass. Maybe could have used that earlier. I'm just going to hold on to it. Since I can't level anyone up off of it yet. Well, may as well deal with them now. We're just going to play the square game. We go in a square. Just circling each other as tight as can be. But no diagonal fighting. That's nonsense. And I gotta let him move because he... I can tell which way he's looking. But it doesn't matter. Like he's turning, but it doesn't matter. He's just gonna do whatever he wants. I swear water magic's what I need for these guys. Ice magic. Um, is that a hat? Is that a, like a little crown? Is that what that is? No, it's a necklace. It's a jewel pendant. Willpower plus two? Hmm. That's okay. What does willpower do? Let's find out. So it gives, obviously, energy. So 42070. Hmm. I don't think it does anything else. Well, it increases your cold resistance. That's weird, because it totally isn't. Huh. Maybe it has to be willpower over 10 or something. Either way, I guess I'll give it to him. He does use energy. Uh, and I want her to have... Well... I guess it doesn't matter which one of them has the cold resistance on. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. It doesn't. It doesn't buff her fire, her fire damage or anything like that. And a speed potion. Fancy. I remember speed potions being pretty good. I think they increase the rate of your stamina regen so you can just hack 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 oh that's a fair question would it go up so let's see her cold resist is 58 now it's 12 because this necklace gives cold resistance so no it is not a good a swap <laughs> I mean I think it does go up because it would be Eight without it. Whoops. I just tried to put lockpicks on her neck. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good that's not a good choice there. I saw what you were saying, and I'm like, oh hey, that actually makes a lot of sense. And then it's like, no. No, it doesn't. Whoops. Yeah. Uh she has less health than he does, so and especially in this area. I don't want her to just get iced. <laughs> uh, that's stupid. Come here, girl. Come here, Theory. Okay. One second, I'm trying to placate my cat. That's the wrong way. Okay, 
So I had gone this way. I didn't really get a chance to look around, I don't think. Or got a chance to look around a little bit. Don't remember how far. There's clearly a green slime behind this fucking wall. Look at that. That's just nonsense right there. And I still don't think they'd put a switch on a wall that I have to jump to. I hope not, anyway. So the question is, is that wall going to open by itself? Or am I going to press a button to open it? It's dark in here. Oh yeah, I hit that button so that opened up. That's right, I had already checked all this. I just, when I got up here, I hadn't looked around because I was getting shot by the elemental. So this opens. It's like, that's nice, but what about this over here? Nothing. Get some more mud wart. So nothing else in here? There's another fucking gl glowing green wall. I'm afraid there's a bunch of walls going to open up on me soon. And just the flood of slime will approach. Well, for now I can just check the walls. Oh, in addition to... Uh, having problems with food the minotaur which is technically what old pie is consumes food 20 or 25 percent faster than others so their his food bar just goes down faster but he's really strong so there's that ow he they can hit me through the fucking bars okay i'm really afraid of hitting that button I hit the button and run away. What did that do? Oh. Okay. What's this? Oh, a piece of cheese. Which she'll eat. Because he still has this fish to eat, which she can just do now. So I have to chuck something across the uh, across the way once I hit that button. And then scream in horror as all those doors open up. Because I'll be focused on that rather than... Uh... Oh, come on. Oh no, the rocks hurt. Oh. <laughs> Should probably keep that in my cursor or near my cursor or something. Yep, called it. Was there another one back here? Yes. Yeah, getting chopped between these guys would not be great. Speaking of... How about I shut this before they get through? Oh, hey, there's a nice guy now, too. Cute. Come here, Slimy. It's me and you now. One-on-one, -on -one, most creatures aren't that bad. Okay. I'm 
I'm just gonna stand up here until this gets... And just keep doing this, because it's stupid. <laughs> wonder if I can Goomba Stomp it. Nope, it gets pushed back. That's fine. So now we're gonna deal with Iceman over here. We cannot let it go into that square. So we're just actually gonna back up. Oh, she's actually, uh... Oh, right, can't do that. <laughs> just talk about how I can't do that, and now I'm doing it. Didn't have to do some weird ladder shenanigans for that guy. Let me wake up. Come on. There we go. Now we get to do this again. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to respec. I don't think there is. And I don't even know if I'd want to, but I'm just curious if there actually would be a way. Because I have her doing some, a little bit of light weapons. I'm gonna do one more. I think having a non-magical way to fight, excuse me, is probably more important than only doing magic. I need to up her fire damage for sure. We will also give her fire resist 50. Because her next dagger is actually, like, a reason she's not doing much is her dagger kind of sucks. I got this in the beginning of the game. There we go. It's only 5 to 15, whereas this one is 9 to 27. And I'll be able to use the thrust special. Whatever the fuck that does. Hopefully good things. Okay, I'm going to rest here just for a second. Ah, uh, you know what? They can stay in there. I'm gonna go across the way. Because it seems like this opened up... ...somebody. Yeah. I, I'm betting... Yep, yeah, you can see it there. That's where the wall moved up when I hit that button. Nothing else, though. Which is too bad. Or maybe they were there the whole time and I just didn't notice, but I, I doubt it. Okay, I can hit that switch. What are the little boxes on the... Oh, sorry, did I walk by that without even addressing it? Let's, uh, let's go back to that. Oops. So this little box here, it's bullets for a gun. I don't, I don't like guns. Guns are kind of awful. They don't scale off any stats. They have limited ammo. Uh, they're, ooh, ooh, healing potions. Yeah, six and six. It's actually really nice. 